Hello and welcome to that man. That is my merchandise. And it's been a long time since I last did a room tour. So I thought, as a special treat, you know, as a special treat to all of you lovely people, I'm going to show off me merch. I'm going to go through all of the shelves and I'm going to go, oh yes, I bought this. And oh yes, I really like this one. And you know, all of the normal generic things that people normally see when they're doing a room tour. Come on then, let's play the crop music and let's get going, shall we? First up, we have my Nier Automata Collector's Edition, along with Draken Guard for the PS3, along with some Valkyria Chronicle Nendroids and a Girls and Panzer tank. I absolutely love this little tank. I wish they did more of them. I really wish they did. Moving along, we have my entire collection of Oishimbo, a series I recently got into along with Monster Girl Encyclopedia, Full Metal Panic and Crest of the Stars. We have some unopened Nendroids up here and a Funko Pop that has sadly passed away. Oh dear, oh dear. Along with Pokemon and some more Nier apparel because yes, I love Nier so much. First up, let's have a look at some of the artwork I've got on display and yeah, it's a few things that I've just picked up as I went along, just here and there. Some artwork that I purchased at conventions, old posters I've got, um, stuff I got with fake figures and um, even the, this massive one that I got with a CD because hey, it's laid back camp. I really want to get some good Hololive posters and upgrade all of this. Hopefully the next convention will let me do that. There's going to be plenty of Hololive artwork, isn't there? Here we have a bunch of Nendroids, we've got a Sherpa from Golden Kamui, we've got our Little Witch Academia Nendroids, we've got Zelda Nendroids, at least Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, Cells at Work Nendroids, Blend S, Kakaguri, um, we've got Senku from Dr. Stone, we've got Tanya the Evil, we've got a random Nico Robin figure that I kind of put on here and then just kind of didn't move, and behind we have Ainz and Albedo from Overlord, and then we have uh, one from um, infinite Dendogram. As we move along we have Aoi from Shirobako, Yotsuba and Danbod from Yotsuba and well Danbod I suppose. We have Quintain Central Quintuplets, we have um, a, a fantastic series, a very underrated series called Recreators, one that I never see many people talking about, really one that I absolutely adore. We have this huge monster point chopper which I just thought looked cool so he looms over everybody else. And that time we got reincarnated as a slime nendroids. We've got both Milim and Rimuru. And then we've got Hollow from Spice and Wolf. Up here we have the Kimono friends. Um, I love this series. I don't think it gets enough attention. It's one of those cute girls doing cute things. And probably is a precursor to Hollow Life, I suppose. Well, it's one of those ones I, I really enjoyed. So I always like seeing these ones on my shelf. Next up we have more Nendroids, we've got uh, Food Wars, we've got Animal Crossing, we've got a Majora's Mask Link, um, Best Girl from Girls and Panzer, we have some Umaru Chan Nendroids and Corin from Fire Emblem. As we look, go down we have my laid back camp collection, I absolutely adore these Nendroids, they all look super cute and adorable. And then um, an Okami Nendroid because I could not buy that. It looks absolutely, it looks so cute. It really does. I really like this one. Next up, we have Rem. Um, this is a Rem I picked up when I was in Japan. I think it's just a prize figure, but it looks nice enough. It's always nice to have more Rem figures. Next up, we have the first of two Nico Robin. Um, these are prize figures. They were, again, I picked them up in Japan, so they're a nice little nostalgic thing. And we have this sorceress figure from Dragon's Crown, a very underrated game that I, I might play sometime, I might stream it sometime. Then we have some Konosuba Figmas, I still haven't unboxed Kazuma after all these years, I will really get to doing that. And then we have the Konosuba Nendoroid collection, all of the gang are here except for Wiz because they just didn't bother releasing it. Pity. But I, honestly these, this is probably the things that you guys see quite often on my videos, or maybe you're done because I'm usually stood in front of it. Oops. Next up we have a few prize figures and a few more expensive figures. I really love this Aqua figure. I just, I don't know, she just looks so goofy and dorky like she should. I'm, I'm considering moving this shelf up a little bit. I really want to get a good um, Mega Min figure to kind of go with them. This is a pop-up 
Senku figure. I, mean, I often use this when uh, people ask what the pop-up uh, figures, or pop-up parade I believe they're called, are like. Very high quality for the price. And then we have a cute Nico Robin and Tony Tony Chopper. I believe this was the 20th anniversary figure, so yeah, cute. This is my One Piece um, Figma, I believe they're called Figma, Figure Arts, that's what they're called, Figure Arts. So yeah, I've got a few older ones, I believe it's about 10 year old now. So we've got some like Magellan, a character who never got any other figures, we've got CD Chan, Hannibal, um, Sir Crocodile, Hancock, Perona. This is a Luffy from Stampede, which I got when I was in Japan, I won the Ichiban Kuji, so that was really cool. And I bought a Nico Robin to kind of go with him. And then we've got this beautiful Nico Robin Wano figure, which is probably the most recent addition to this shelf. Um, yeah, I only got her not long ago, but she looks absolutely fantastic. I really want a, a more higher yeah, quality figure of her, really. Next we have a bunch of figures that kind of don't fit with anything else. This is kind of like me, my figmas. Like I said, we've got um, Phoenix Ride, we've got Lucky Star, Rem Ram, and a few other figures here and there. I'm probably going to remove these and kind of put some nicer figures down there. I'm actually considering moving this shelf down and putting some nicer figures on there, possibly. Yeah, maybe the Hollow Live ones will go on there or something. But yeah, the same with this one. Just random figures that I've picked up over the years and just kind of like stored in there. A lot of them's kind of fallen down. And then as we go down, we've got some manga. It's a lot of my more bigger manga um, that are stored here. It's stuff that I kind of like, I started reading and then just never caught on. Um, Kaiji. Kaiji is a fantastic series. And we've got um, the Yotsuba children's book. Um, a, a cute um, Nadashiko who's kind of like squished in there. And then we've got a few other larger figures, uh, figures, books and stuff like that, along with a lot of strategy guides. Chopper is supposed to be guarding them, but he kind of fell down because, of course, he's a drunkard. That Chopper is a drunkard. And then my Pokemon trading card collection, which I may show some day, or may not. And a few um, Amiibo. Remember Amiibo? They were cool once. This next shelf is, I think it's quite random too. We've got some things all over the place. We've got some Amagi Brilliant Park. We've got a fantastic Phoenix Wright figure, a Cosmos Chopper, and then Girls and Panzer and Dragon Quest stuff. The um, Nico Robins that were in my video for a long time are both now situated here. And I think that's quite nice having them out the way. A little bit more safer, I suppose. The next shelf is one that I recently did a video on where I shown everything that when I kind of just set the shelf up. Later on I did go out and put some manga in, pretty much all of my favourites, Laid Back Camp, Ascendance of a Bookworm, Yotsuba, Umaru-chan, but yeah there's some nice figures here. I really like this category one. This was a blind buy, I'd, I've seen the anime but I haven't really read the manga but I love the series so much I just had to pick her up when I saw her. This Samus I've had for years as well worth every penny one of my favorites i like the fact that the amiibos kind of work with it another fantastic looking chopper dragon quest slime a random one along with fair uh, best girls and panzer girl mama Ko from um do you love your mom and a two hit multi-target attacks it was a random purchase but again i don't mind buying it and then the nadashiko figure that i absolutely adore her she's one of my favorites next up we have a shrine to the best girl in all of well, anime and manga, fight me, I will lose. So this one and this one are both resin figures. The unofficial, I mean the bootleg. Um, but yeah, um, the people always ask me where I got them from. I got them from eBay, that's right, eBay. And so yeah, we've got a few others, a few prize figures. That's the second one of the um, swimsuit ones. Portrait of Pirates, Seal them again, Portrait of Pirates, I think this was, this was the one where they remade it. Night Chopper. I like this uh, little character as well. I, I was really happy that she got a Portrait of Pirates. Um, we've got a Wano Nami and a Wano Chopper and an also fantastic Miss All Sunday. I was so excited to see this one come out. It just looks so fantastic. Then we have Hina, one of my favourite characters and I was so happy she actually got a, like, a portrait of pirates a really fantastic figure very underrated character but yeah it's one of those ones she's one of those characters it's like i just i just really like her and some more chopper figures because hey you can't have enough chopper figures unless you've got like five million then you probably need to get a few less and 
a Centaur and a Rem from ReZero. These are both two more high quality figures that I just I just like them. I probably need to turn them around a little bit. Rem's looking kind of more chopper than she is on display. Hmm. So this is a shelf basically full of prize figures, a few Nico Robins, a few choppers. Can you guess who my favourite character is? If you said it was Zoro, you'd be absolutely correct. Only joking. I don't really like Zoro. So yeah, and then we go on to Nendroids. And yeah, we've got some nice cute One Piece Halloween figures, some girls and Panzer, believe in the me that believes in Kirby. Uh, we've got Saitama, we've got Rem Ram, Amelia. Uh, we've got, like I said, just all ReZero ones. Kino from Kino's Journey, Uma Musume, all just fun. I really like this shelf. I, I think it's really underrated because I, I don't really get to see it quite as well as the others. I really like the Dragon Quest hero as well. He looks so cool. Next up is the One Piece shelf. Uh, yeah, I've, I've went through this a few times. I recently did a video on it, so you can go check that one out if you want to see all of these in glorious HD. Also, a few figures I put on top of it as well. So these are just like busts. I like how there's, like, there's a lot of angry choppers. Choppers either very happy or very angry. He looks like he's just ground pounded your mother and your mother enjoyed it. But I like how there's also a happy version of it as well, just in case you kind of Felt he was just been a little bit too much like the Tokyo Girl fandom. Next up we have this shelf which is basically my Overlord slash Prison School shelf slash Raw Hero because hey, Raw Hero needs to go next to Prison School for some reason. I guess. Maybe. But yeah, two fantastic series. Ones that I absolutely love. I've got some very old One Piece. Um, I don't know if they were prize figures or what but yeah, it's got some very old One Piece figures, another prize figure, some more, and some girls and panzer, little soft beanie things, because that's what you need in every room. Looking at the top we have a few Gundam volumes, I need to either read Gundam or just get rid of it. I love the series, I love the franchise, but I don't know, it's just kind of been on my shelf for a while, I need to get back to reading it. And we have Monogatari. And we have some, this is basically all storage, so yeah, there's like dozens and dozens of Nendroid bits in there. Um, I need to have a proper sort out, maybe put some more books or manga up there eventually. And then we've got a few little things here and there as we come down here. Just kind of little bits and pieces that I've just amassed over the years and just didn't really have anywhere else to put them. Soon it will all be Hololive. Hollow life everywhere, just like in real life. So this is the inside of my wardrobe, which you may yeah, sometimes see it on streaming. It's just full of games. So I've got a lot of consoles. I've got a Nintendo Switch. I've got a PS4. I've got a PS3. I've got a PlayStation Vita. Um, got multiple 3DSs. I think that's a Japanese one. Um, let's say a DS, GameCube, a PS3, Wii U, Wii what have you and um, as we go down it's a ps4 3ds ds ps1 um i believe there's some mo there's like shell there's like rows and rows of just ds stuff behind there and then we've got a few others gamecube wii playstation 2 wii u evercade stuff um, you know, everything that you kind of expect. Um, I really need to get this out and uh, start studying again. I will someday learn how to do Japanese. Someday. Maybe. I really need to sort this out as well because there's a lot of books in here which I can probably get rid of. I mean, who else is reading Tomb Raider The Lost Cult? Here is my PC because of course it has to be shown in along with my desk. That's right, I do many a videos all here. With a huge, huge PC. Hello. I'm watching you, watching me, recording me. That's not weird. Yeah. So yeah, there's a few little things on here. Just like I said, some cute uh, Robin and Aqua things, some Robin things. Just bits here and there that I've kind of just amassed. As well as a few other things. I'm really proud of this. My signed Full Metal Panic poster which I got when uh, I met the creator of Full Metal Panic in Amalgi Brilliant Park. Always loving that. Always loving it. So behind here we've got the PS3 and the PlayStation 4. 
um, you switch to the PlayStation 4 and it plays any game and it nearly always sounds like it's taken off. Behind there you can probably see a few control bits and pieces. And we've got some more stuff down here, so uh, there we go, we've got the, the NES Classic, I think the SNES Classic is in there. We've got the GameCube along with the GBA player, we've got Snares, Wii U, um, the N64 is probably in there as well. And then we've got an upside down Luffy, an upside down Luffy, and my tripod, oh and lots and lots of alcohol, because yeah. Moving on, we've got these awesome posters, and then we're going to look at some more figures. So this is kind of my my prime figures. This is, uh, which is surprising because a lot of people think my best figures are behind us when I do videos, but always in front of us so I can always see them. So there we go, we've got Fire Emblem, we've got some Luke and the Third stuff, Fire Emblem, we've got Farja, we've got the, the Xenoblade girls, Pyra and Mithra, 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 Pyra, Pyra and Mithra. Yeah, we've got the Nami, we got the VV, uh, we got a happy little chopper. Like I said, always happy or angry, never one or the other. You got a Shirahoshi. You got this is all Portrait of Pirate stuff. So this is like a lot of the older stuff. So we got like a Luffy crew, uh, another chopper. There we go, happy. Nami, CD Chan, a random Robin figure. Um, so it says more film Z stuff, a random Sindri Chan figure. Um, I just like it. It was a unique figure. Strong World stuff, Khalifa, Strong World, um, Children, Chibi Ones, Swimsuit stuff, and randomly God Usopp amongst it all. Because, yeah, you need to have an Usopp figure, don't you? I mean, who doesn't? And then we get to the top of the shelf, which is basically a lot of prize figures. So we've got Assassination Classroom, then we've got a Tiger and Bunny. We've got some Back to the Future stuff behind us. Tiger and Bunny, a few of the Nintendo random things that you kind of got if you bought random Nintendo games. And um, the Master Sword, and um, we've got Nico Robin, uh, Nami, a chopper figure, VV, and Nami. Um, we've got some bootleg figures there as well. These are all like upper height, so I, it's not easy to get into them, get good good videos of it. Um, a bottle, Tiger and Bunny, Valkyria Chronicle stuff, cool Luffy. Randomly fairy tale, like yeah, I need to get rid of all this fairy tale nonsense. And some more prize figures, and some really nice DPCF, and of course you need to have a One Piece Thousand Sunny Ship. And then we've got more storage, like board games and more Android stuff. Yay! Next up we have all of my manga and light novels. So this is like manga, 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 board game stuff, few card games. Then we go down. We've got all Golden Kamui. A few other manga here. I'm not going to do it as a manga collection because this is kind of. I have my manga more in storage than I do I have it on display. I just kind of try to keep it looking quite nice. Then we've got a few other ones. This is my. This is, tends to be my to read pile, except I've read these. Um, but yeah, this is kind of my read and to watch pile. I've got a few others there. I've got those nice uh, releases. My favourite one. This is. This appears in, like, in a lot of my videos. It's just I was really happy when I got that. And um, when I got went to Japan, we've got a few others. This is like me to read list for light novels and a few other titles here and there and then we go down and we've got some more stuff that's like a bag full of Nendroids of course that's the most important thing um, this is more like my etchy kind of corner and then more light novels and more manga and then we've just got random blu-rays at the bottom like I said this is storage kind of so yeah I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of this stuff, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a full manga collection. Maybe I'll do one of those look at my shelf or I'll redo my shelf kind of video and get all of the views. All of the views. So that was my anime and manga mega room. There's probably, I don't know, I can't even think of how much I've spent on all of this. All of it could just go up in flames one day and lose the entire thing. But if you have any questions on anything, or if you want more details about a specific figure or anything like that, let me know in the comments and let me know if there's any figures or anything that you are looking to pick up. I love to talk about anime figures and I would love to do more videos on it. So if you guys do like it, make sure you, you smash that like button and smash that comment section and just comment on whatever. Or literally just write whatever. Fair enough. 
and I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already, go check out my video on Kuchen Manga. That's right, Kuchen Manga. It's absolutely fantastic. It's, I'm so proud of it. Go check it out. And if not, go check out one of the videos up here. There's bound to be something you will enjoy. I'll see you there.